Hi, it's Len Cameraman, and in this video I'm going to quickly show you how to find back the contacts that you've imported into your ACT database. So there's a little trick to this that will help you find which contacts came in from a specific import. And so what I've got open here is a CSV file that I want to import into ACT. And so what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to actually resize the columns here so I can see all my data. It's a pretty simple file. Got first name, last name, phone number, company email address. I'm going to add a column to this and we're going to import this additional column so we can find our contacts back. I'm just going to call this import name and let's see I'm going to pick to put uh, a Y in each of these so put Y there and I'm just going to copy and paste that down. So all I've done now is I have added a column called the import name and I've put a specific letter all the way down here. And you can put in whatever you like. It could be a word, it could be a letter. just needs to be something that is going to help us identify where these contacts came from. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. And Excel prompts me, do you still want to save it in CSV format? So I say yes. Okay, now I'm going to close that file. It asks me if I want to make changes. I can go ahead and click no because I just saved it. Sometimes funny things happen if you save it again there. So I'm going to click no on that. Okay, now I'm going to bring up ACT. And I'm going to go to the file menu and go to import. Okay, and this type of file is a text delimited file. I'm going to browse to it. It's this ACT import.csv file right here. So I'm going to open that up and click next. Okay, and I want to bring in contact records. And it is in a comma delimited file. It's a CSV for comma separated values. And I don't want it to import the first record because my first record is my headings. So I'm clicking next. I don't want to use a predefined map file. And okay, so ACT has taken a guess at most of my headings already. So phone number, I need to match that up with phone. If I had named my column phone, it would have guessed that for me, but mine was called phone number. Okay, now, here's the important part. For import name, it asks, where do I want to put this? Well, I could have created an extra field in my database, or I can map this to a field that is unused right now. So import name, I'm going to put that in, well, let's put it in user 8. I'm pretty sure there's nothing else in there. Okay, and I'm going to click on next. I'm going to check my options. Okay, I want to merge if they already exist, and I want to add the record if they don't exist. So that's fine. And I'm going to click Next, and click Finish to start the import. Okay, so the import finished. So now, usually if I'd done the import, I might have a hard time finding back the ones I just imported. I could do a lookup on create date, but if I've created other contacts today or someone else has, that might be a little bit hard to find. But because I brought in that column called uh, called import name into user 8, I can go and look that up now. So I'm going to go to my contact details screen, I'm going to go to the user fields, and I'm going to right click on the user 8 field. This is just a shortcut to look up user 8. And now I want to say, okay, find all the user 8s that start with, or just to be a little bit more precise, I'm going to say equal to Y. And click on OK. And there I get the five contacts that I brought in today. So from there, there might be other fields you want to change. You might want to put them into a group, but that's a way to find them back again. So if I was going to do another import now, maybe I'd put an X in that column for all of the contacts. And that way when I bring that import in, then I can find those by doing a lookup on user 8 equals x. So hopefully that helps you and just that's a way to find the contacts after you've done an import.